Structures are defined as discontinuities or failure features in the rock as a result of mechanical stress applied on the rock. Fractures are important study in the reservoir because they provide permeability pathways for fluids. In addition to that, they are troublemakers as they cause losses for drilling fluids during well drilling. There are many resources in the industry from which we can obtain information about fractures. The most common ones are borehole formation image, known as FMI, core sections, and seismic attributes. On FMI, fractures can be observed as narrow or wide open streaks, shown in two colors, either dark or white. In FMI, dark color features usually indicate conductivity, while light or white color features indicate resistivity. However, FMI is usually a good resource for fracture analysis and interpretation. From FMI, we can obtain information about the type of fracture, dip, azimuth, pattern, and morphology. On course, Fractures are clear to observe, so some fracture characteristics, characteristics can be measured. Sometimes fracturing is severe, so whole core would be damaged. But be careful, that damaged core doesn't mean necessarily it's fractured. You actually need to distinguish between naturally fractured core and damaged core. There are certain factors responsible for bad recovery or damaged cores, such as bad handling, bad cooling process, local stress around the well which causes artificial or false fractures, hardness of rock, etc. The other source is seismic. Based on the resolution, there are seismic attributes such as variance and untrack that can detect discontinuities in the surface, which is usually associated with fractures or faults. In this example, untrack attribute shows intensely faulted formation with associated fractures. However, the best resource to provide inclusive information and provide a better resolution for fractures are outcrops. There are several fracture characteristics that can be studied, such as type, dip, strike, length, morphology, aperture, and length. In this slide, I'm showing references to the footage I used for copyright preservation. So what type of fracture data that we need for modeling reservoir? First one is fracture type. It's important to organize or, or to recognize fracture type. This is what fracture analysis should tell us. Is it fault related, digences associated, physical compaction, tectonic origin, etc. In addition to status, is it open, widely open, closed, partially open or partially closed? And if it's open, how wide is the aperture? Second, fracture morpho morphology. Do we see individual fracture or a set of fractures or fracture network, swarms, joints or veins? Third, and important, is dip and azimuth degree of fractures. Dip is the deepest angle relative to the horizontal plane, while azimuth is the angle of fracture plane relative to the north. Fourth is horizontal deviation, which represents the angle by which a fracture plane is deviated from horizontal plane. Now we come to organizing and preparing fracture data after interpretation. We collect the data and place them in Excel sheet, as you can see here. First column is well name. So we have two wells, X and C, 1, 2, 2. Second is depth of fracture location. Third is azimuth. Fourth is depth angle. Fifth column is inclination or horizontal deviation. And finally, type of fracture. Place all the wells with their fracture data in one sheet for sake of organization and time saving when it comes to upload. Now and before you upload the data to our project, you need to save this file in PRN extension by going to File, Save As, Browse, from Save As Type, Formatted Text, Space Delimited, type the name of the file, which is Structure Data, choose Location to save the file, then Save. Now the file is ready to upload to our exercise project in Petrel. In Petrel project, we have two wells will x and will c122 to upload fracture data go to wells import north selection choose point will data format choose the file click open this window allows you to organize the data in columns and ar attributes so you need to define six columns first column for will name so you choose will from drop down list Second column, you choose measure depth, then depth azimuth, and depth angle, 
then to define horizontal deviation we select user as this parameter is not already in the drop down list then fracture name by selecting name then remove extra columns from here put number one in this space so to the petrel that first row is a header line then click ok for all fracture template will appear under global well logs now open 3d window take fracture tem template you can change the style of fractures by going to double click on the fracture template style common tab size choose any size you want let's say 20 to change the shape go to dip tab and choose between discus or sticks I hope that you learned how to prepare and organize and upload fractured data for modeling. Thank you for in your interest and attention, and I appreciate if you like this video to click like button and subscribe to my channel to watch more videos that will teach you more about geoscience skills. Good luck with your career.